setting up Xcode 8 and Swift 3 couldn't be easier these days. Simply jump onto Google and search for Xcode 8 Beta. And the first result that you're going to click on is the one from developer.apple.com. And in order to download Xcode 8, simply click the icon and Apple will ask you, most likely, to log in. Bear in mind this could change. So I'm just going to log in and be back in a second. If you don't have an Apple ID for the developer program yet, then you can get one and you don't have to pay until you release apps. So the developer account is free, the ability to release apps is not, and it's something like £80 a year in the UK at least. Okay, so I'll just log in and be back in a sec. And once you're in, you're presented with a list of downloads. We only need one in this list, and that is the very top one, which is the Xcode 8 beta. Of course, if you're developing for other platforms, then you'll need the other things like Mac OS, iOS 10 and watchOS. But Xcode 8 contains pretty much everything we need. So let that download and come back when it's done. Once complete, unzip the file that you just downloaded and you should get this Xcode-beta out of it. Once you have it, simply click and drag it over to your applications folder, drop it in there and let it install. Once that's complete, you're going to run it. So I'm just going to run it here as Xcode-beta. Now if Xcode 8 is already released when you're watching this, it'll just be the plain old Xcode. Go ahead, hit enter, and what it's going to do for you is actually give you a quick setup run through, which I want you to go through. And you'll be pleased to know there is no installation of Swift 3, so to speak, in Xcode 8. And that's because Xcode 8 uses Swift 3 by default. So once that's done, you're good to go with Xcode 8 and Swift 3. There's one final step I want you to complete, and that is to go up to your Xcode menu, hit Preferences, and go to the Accounts tab. This will allow you to sign in with your Apple ID and your developer account. You can get a developer account for free and you only have to pay once you start releasing apps. So it's a good idea to do this step now so you don't run into trouble later on.